Yo gang, welcome back to the channel. Listen, I had to get away from the hustle and bustle in Miami, so we made it to our vacation spot, but I still have to cook for the family. And I thought, I said, you know what? Let me bring y'all along for this. It's a very simple recipe, and you only need a few ingredients. You really can use whatever it is that you want as far as seasoning goes, but this is what I use. This is my version of fried cabbage. You're gonna need one whole head of cabbage. You're gonna need some thick sliced bacon. You're also gonna need some sausage. Now, the sausage could be of your choice. Today, we are using Cajun style sausage. We're gonna need an onion and a tricolor uh, set of bell peppers. Now, I didn't bring the green bell pepper because the cabbage is green, so I just wanted to have a nice variety of colors. You're also gonna need a few cloves of garlic. We have that peeled and set aside. And as far as seasoning goes, you're definitely gonna need some salt, pepper, some garlic salt, garlic powder, Cajun seasoning, and of course, to give it a little bit of kick, you want some red pepper flakes. If you don't like spice, you can eliminate the red pepper flakes and just use your um, spicy Cajun seasoning. So with that being said, that's all to it. Uh, Y'all ready to eat? Let's do it. Okay, so I have all of my vegetables prepped for you to see. As you can see here, we have our tricolor peppers. We have an onion. We have about three cloves of garlic. We have our cabbage, and we also have our sausage and our bacon. Let me light my stove so that we can have that nice and hot when we add that bacon to it. Now, I wish I would have remembered to um, wait to cut the cabbage so that I can show you uh, what it is that I do and exactly what it is I'm talking about when I say make sure you take the core out of the cabbage. Now, when you split the cabbage in half, not half with the bottom sprout um, half. You want to cut it in half with the core in two sides so that you can dig out that core piece because this is very bitter. You do not want this in your cabbage because it will, mm, it won't make it taste bad. It'll just have that extra bitter taste that's unnecessary and you don't want that. And make sure that you take off a few of the leaves, maybe two or three layers of the leaves on the outside until it looks nice and smooth and there's no blemishes or anything on there. Um, you know, you, I eat with my eyes, so everything has to be pretty when we are working with that, uh, with food especially. Okay, so our pan, let's see, yeah, that feels like it's a little hot. And we are going to start in with our bacon first. I am going to render as much as this bacon fat first before I add my sausage. So you want to just distribute that into your pan. All right, so you're going to fry this bacon up nicely. Turn the fire down a little bit. All right, so I want all the meat. So I will be putting my bacon back into it once it's fried but I just want to um, cook it first so that I can get that grease, that bacon grease, because that, to me, cabbage is not cabbage unless you have bacon grease in it, in my opinion. Okay, let's let this cook down. Don't cover it up because you want it to sweat. You don't want to, you know, you want it to be kind of crispy, as a matter of fact. All right, you see that grease down there? And these little drippings, you wanna keep that. That is flavor. Do not get rid of that, nor this grease. Remember, we're frying cabbage. We're not steaming cabbage, we're frying cabbage. So I'm gonna let that go for a little bit. And then we'll take the bacon out, and then we'll fry the sausage. <laughs> All right, you better stand back, don't get popped. Bacon have no mercy. Okay, looking good. Just 
turn it over so it can, you know, brown on both sides. I don't want to get popped in the face. that pop in the face. This is what I'm telling you, bacon is undefeated. Okay, it's crisping up very nice. Um, I'm gonna get ready to take that out and fry the sausage. Okay. Let's take this bacon out. We need a whole mat for this. It's nice and crispy. Now I gotta concentrate, I gotta give a second. scorching hot so I am going to turn this down just a little bit before I add my sausage because it is going to splatter everywhere so you want to slowly add your okay it's okay to crowd the pan because you just want any everything to just, you know, kind of have even coloring. So just make sure everybody has a spot. Okay, so I am going to give this a quick little flip. Make sure everybody is back in place. And I am going to clean up a little bit while we're waiting. Because the food tastes better when you clean as you go. Okay, we have some of the sausage quite brown. I like my sausage to be very well cooked. So we're waiting for all of it to have that little char on it. Flavors, flavors, flavors. I am going to add this back into the pot with heat so I don't want to, you know, overcook them too much. So I'm going to take my sausage out. And now that we have all that goodness in that pan, we are going to saute our vegetables in there. Just that bacon alone.
much better. Still having a hard time. All right, so now that we have all of our sausage out of the grease, I am going to go in with the bell peppers only. Of the bell peppers and the onion, I'm gonna save the garlic for last because I do not want the garlic to burn. That's another thing, burnt garlic is bitter. So peppers and onions. Nicely sauteed. Can't have sausage without onions and peppers. So we're gonna let this go just for a little bit to sweat them out a little bit. And then once they start to get tender, I'm gonna add in that garlic. Okay, if you can see the onions are getting a little translucent, that's what you want to look for. Now I'm going to add my garlic. As you can see, the onions are nice and translucent. Add my garlic, cook that down for a minute or two very quickly. Okay, now that that garlic is in there, I'm going to create a little bed for all of my meat. So I'm going to add my bacon back in. I'm going to add my sausage in. Let me get that. I need all that. And right on top of this, I am going to add the cabbage. Add that cabbage. Uh oh. Don't worry, this is going to cook down. So you can just pretty much just cram all of it in there. This was a quite big head of cabbage. Would it be head of cabbage? I think so because it's a head of lettuce. Okay, well, add as much as you can get in your pan, <laughs> into your pan. All right, now this is going to go very quickly from this point. All right, so at this point, you are going to just season because you want it to kind of get incorporated before you put that lid on. Just season the top of that cabbage with your black pepper, a dash of garlic powder, again, your liking. This is onion powder. We got our Creole seasoning. Tony saturates. Okay, this you can put as much or as little. Watch the salt. We're gonna add this, of course. This would be sealed. Just a few red pepper flakes. and a pinch of white salt. Like so. Okay, your lid, cover it up and let it go. You want it to, at this point, the fry, I don't know if you heard that, the frying and all that stuff was still happening with the items underneath, which was your bell peppers, your sausage, your bacon, all that stuff was still going. So um, we are now gonna let this go for about four or five minutes. And then when we come back, we'll go ahead and give it a flip. And then we'll add just a little bit more seasoning on the backside and cover it back up and we'll be back. 
Okay, so it's been sweating for about four minutes now. What I'm going to do, I am going to turn, we'll flip the cabbage, so the cooked or the steamed cabbage or the fried cabbage on the bottom can be now at the top and the cabbage that was on the top, we can bring it down to the bottom. Mmm, boy oh boy. Look at that. Oh, I wish you could smell this. Okay. So, at this point, I want to make sure that everything is seasoned nicely. I am going to just add a little bit more of the uh, Creole seasoning. Just a little bit more of everything that I added on the top. Which is the Creole seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, and a little bit of black pepper because we did add some crushed red pepper already. No more salt though, no more white salt. And just give it a nice stir. All right, so we are going to cover this up for another two or three minutes. Make sure everything is nice and tender. And then I'm going to tell you all about it. Okay. So, I already see this. I'm ready to eat. Let me set this up here. So you can look in this beautiful pot. and stir that up how good does that look now depending on how you like your cabbage if you like your cabbage uh, crunchier if you like it softer however it is that you like it that would determine how long you keep your stove on now what I did I should have mentioned it before I um, we took that quick little second um, I actually turned the burner off left it covered and just let it continue for another one or two minutes this is this whole process from start to finish should not take longer than about 20 minutes the longest part is actually cutting your vegetables and you know the beginning of the preparation of this but it's by the time you put your uh, cabbage and everything inside it's very very quickly Okay, now cook time is pretty much up to you. Depending on how it is that you like your cabbage, if you like your cabbage firmer, you would minimize your cook time. You would actually take the lid off a little earlier so that it can, you know, keep that crunch. I like it to be, you know, part crunchy, part, you know, well cooked. So I left my lid on my cabbage for it to go just a little bit longer. But as far as the start to finish time on this should not take you more than 20 minutes. Literally, this is the slam bam <laughs> meal of this home, pretty much. Okay, so I'm gonna move this out of the way. I'm not gonna recover it so that we don't continue the cooking process because as long as it's steaming, it's going to cook. Look at that very nice hearty meal we have sausage we have bacon we have our vegetables we have <laughs> the cabbage and a whole lot of goodness make sure you taste it as you go when you you know put in that when you actually flip it and make sure it's seasoned to your liking as well there it is fried cabbage so good mm -hmm. All right, let's take this first taste. I know it's hot. Mm. Mm-hmm. 
You hear that little crunch? It still has the crunch to it, some of the parts. Some of the cabbages actually cooked very, very well. In my opinion, that is how I like my cabbage. So, mm, it is perfect. Mmm, very, very good. <laughs> Yo, gang, listen. This is definitely a must try. Coming home from work one day, very, very tired. It's very minimum ingredient. If you don't pay, if you don't want the bell peppers and onions and none of that stuff, you don't have to add it, but it does give it a nice taste to it. Extra seasoning. And it's a one pot meal, literally. Very good, very nice, very refreshing. I like it a lot. If you try it, make sure that you let me know. Drop it in the comments if you ever had it. Make sure you let me know when you do try it because I love the fact that you guys actually go out and try my meals. Yo gang, listen, if you have not yet checked out www.yogang.com, make sure that you do pick up a patch. Thank you for supporting the channel. Y'all already know I love y'all for life and I love food too. Peace.